Hi there, welcome to Be A Surface Pro. In today's Surface Pro tip, we bring you some touchscreen keyboard tips and tricks. If you're in tablet mode, the keyboard should pop up automatically. But if you're not in tablet mode, that's okay. You can still click on the keyboard icon down here in the bottom right corner. The touchscreen keyboard has a nice touch-friendly layout, nice and simple to use. Down in the bottom left corner, you'll find numbers and symbols. And of course, just next to that, you'll find the emoji icon. To navigate between different emojis, you can use these left and right arrows on the left side of the keyboard. And it's the same with numbers and symbols. Back on the keyboard, you'll notice that across the top row of keys, there's a number up in the top left corner. To access that number, simply press and hold on the key and swipe up to type in the number. If you're a bit impatient like me, you don't have to wait. You can just simply flick your finger in the direction of the key to type it directly in. And you'll notice as we press and hold that other options appear around the keys as well. On the letter T, you'll see across in the top right, TM. On the letter C, you can see the copyright symbol. And we just swipe across to type that symbol in. Press and hold on the question mark to get access to a whole bunch of handy symbols, like the at symbol. Press and hold on the full stop to get to a colon, the comma to get to the semicolon, and the single quote to get to double quotes and different variations of that. Down in the bottom right corner, you'll see a little keyboard icon, and this allows you to switch between different keyboard modes. For example, we have the split screen keyboard, the handwriting input panel, and the standard keyboard layout. The standard keyboard layout will be turned off by default, but you can enable it by going into the typing settings in the settings app. The standard keyboard layout adds the escape key, the delete key, and the cursor up and down arrows. And that can be really handy if you're editing an Excel spreadsheet and you're using touch. If you're multilingual, you can also install other languages Remember to switch back to the keyboard that you want to use next time because Windows 10 will remember the last keyboard setting that you used. If you're using the handwriting panel and you close the keyboard down, the next time you open it up again, it will still be on the handwriting panel. So remember to switch it back to the keyboard if you normally like to use the keyboard. Windows 10 also differentiates between pen and touch. So if you press the keyboard icon with your fingertip, you may get a different result to when you're pressing it with your pen. We made another video showing how to use the handwriting panel to convert your handwriting to type text, and we'll leave a link to that in the description box below. If you found this tip helpful, remember to give us the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Surface Pro tips.